<laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm super dirty. I was oh, you're planting fine. plants. You're fine. So. I would rather you be in the garden dirty than being like super clean. What What do you want to ask me about? Um, I have two questions. Number mm -hmm. one, my granny passed away last February, um, and like two or three years before that, there was a trauma with my mom um, and a lot yeah. of abuse like came to light for me. Mm -hmm. And at that point I thought she was enabling her and I was trying to set up some protective boundaries to be able to heal. And so mm -hmm. I didn't contact her um, uh, for a couple of years and then she passed away. Yeah. And I've been feeling very guilty about that. And I'm just wondering if she's mad at me. Yeah, so she's not because she was already correcting you before you finished your sentence. So she's not, not mad at you. She's not upset with you. Um, she actually says, don't be foolish. <laughs> it's just funny because I was like, okay. She says, don't be foolish. Um, she also says, you were right and I am sorry. So she is acknowledging what you were feeling and she is affirming what you felt and she agrees with you. Um, she didn't understand it because sometimes her way of dealing with, thank you. Sometimes her way of dealing with stuff was not to approach it or not to deal with it, but instead mm -hmm. to try to just like sweep it under the rug or just try to like not act like it's not a, a big deal. But in doing so, she may have actually added to the problem and not address what needed to be addressed. Yeah. She also says you have every right to keep yourself separate or to kind of keep those boundaries up. Have you also kind of avoided not having this closer relationship with your mom since then? Oh, she's completely cut out Got of my life. Out. She's your grandma okay. says it's okay to, to keep her cut out. She says it's perfectly fine. She says you will have an, thank you. There will be another mother figure who steps into your life who will help to make who will help to heal the heartbreak that you suffer from that. So she says to be patient, there's another mother figure that will be in your life who will help to heal the heartbreak. She also says that you, if people ever try to make you feel guilty, like speaking about these experiences or talking about these things is a way for you to kind of bring attention to yourself. Your grandmother mm -hmm. says, you don't need to listen to those people. You have every right to experience and express this as part of your healing. She says, in fact, you need to take, take it one step further. Um, have you been wanting to do a blog or wanting to talk about some of these experiences? I've been writing things Perfect. like in she private. She says, so. what you're writing in private, she says, are not just for you. So she's letting you know when you're prepared and ready that it's okay to share these things. Um, do you also know if your mom had mental illness and substance abuse or, or she wasn't on the right medication? Uh, I know that she's, there's some issues in okay. there. Um, yeah. That's, I, I feel like there's a combination of things. I think your yeah. mother suffers from mental illness. Yeah. I also think that either she was on a mix of bad medications or she wasn't on the right medications, but still was taking something in anyways. So it's a mixture of different things going on there, but there's almost a type of psychosis that your mom suffered from because she didn't always remember everything the way that she should have, but it's, it's just, just who she's gonna be in life and it's okay yeah. to have to deal with it the way you want to. Yeah. Your grandmother is sending you butterflies. Those are gonna be a sign from her. So to look out for the butterflies. Um, she also is acknowledging a bell. Do you know about a bell that is connected to your grandmother? Not like off a, the top of my head. Like, I don't know if this is like a Christmas bell or like an ornamental bell, but there's okay. something like this that she's referencing. Okay. So you might have to think about it, but the way I'm reminded of this, so I have a, we have a Santa Claus that we take out every year for Christmas and he has a little round bell. It's almost mm -hmm. like the bells that you see from like the reindeer or like the movies of the reindeer. It mm -hmm. looks like that. It's a bell that's round. She's okay. showing me something like this. So to keep your eye open for this because she's acknowledging this for some reason. Okay. She also is acknowledging the month of January or the first of a month. Do you know there's a connection to the month of January or the first of a month? Uh, January was when my parents got married the first time. Okay. So, and that's my dad's birthday. Perfect. She, she might just be acknowledging your dad. Um, oh, that was my second question. Yeah, I think she might be acknowledging your dad. Um, is she still alive, your dad? Yeah. Okay. Do you know if he's not taking care of himself or he needs to take better care of himself? He's never taking care of himself. Okay. She's almost wanting to bring attention to his condition or his physical condition and acknowledge he that it's serious and it needs to be taken even more seriously. It's almost, it's almost like the writing's on the wall 
why are you adding to your suffering? And this yeah. is how your normal is acknowledging it. Yeah. There's only so much you can even do as far as your dad is concerned. Yeah. But what your grandmother is saying is that you don't have to be around to watch this decline, but it's okay to have those connections with them. So that way you can still keep communication, but you don't have to be around for the decline. Do you understand that? That's, you're on point. <laughs> She also says you need to forgive yourself because you were young and you're a kid and you're not going to deal with things the way that an adult would and that it's okay to have responded and reacted the way that you did. Did you run away once or did you, did you run away from home because she keeps talking about the time you ran away? <laughs> I mean, I was very dramatic and I would get like two houses down and then come back. But... Okay. Okay. <laughs> so she's just acknowledging you're fine with how you react to things and forgive yourself. It's okay. And that she's not upset with you. If anything, she owes you the apology and that she is sorry. That really touches my heart. So, All right, sweetheart. Will you take care of yourself, okay? Thank you, Bernie. 